they just gravitated to him. Mm -hmm. And because you just can't become somebody just walking heavily and just gravitate. <laughs> and I'm so glad that he came um, because he brought some great nuggets and just along with that, just positivity and joy um, and excitement for this fantastic thing called chicken nuggets, music. Chris? Um, for the past couple of days, we've been able to watch him transition this fantastic um, mass choir into something beautiful. These voices that just come together and he picked music that really fits them. I'm so honored and just privileged to be able to um, introduce uh, a great man of music, Mr. Ken Graber. say this to you, but standing in front of you are the most outstanding young people I have had an opportunity to meet in a long time. I just want to say what a pleasure it's been to be asked to come to this region and to be a part of this tradition of this Basin Festival. And part of this tradition is to visit each of the classrooms yesterday and to watch each of these students within their own school. And I told them that I, come, I want to come away with something from each and every school, and they gave more than I could possibly imagine for me to take home to my region in, in my teaching. And they are just so giving and, and expressive and wonderful young musicians. And then when they come together, they look at each other as an addition of, of the extended musical family. I didn't know if this was going to be one school kind of competing against another, and they are one ensemble in front of you. An amazing group of young folks. Congratulations. <laughs> the first song was a piece that said, it's Sing to the Lord, a new song written nearly 400 years ago by Hans Leo Hassler. I think that is funny. <laughs> Sing to the Lord, a new song. And yet 400 years later, here it still exists. We'd like to continue with the piece, though. That is more contemporary. It's a piece called Behold How Good. And this is going to feature one of your own faculty members, Mazama High School, and uh, this festival's coordinating uh, director as our guest uh, guest soloist, Carice Robertson. Please welcome her to the stage.
wonderful occasion for all of us. Um, we've seen so much growth and so much amazing things happening in these last two days. Um, it's just been a gift to have Mr. Graber here to share his wisdom, to share his enthusiasm, and most of all, just his positive energy. It's so infectious, and it's just really great. Um, and so I wanted to give him a really great round of applause with everybody. <laughs> Soloists, I wanted to have you recognize them. I'm just going to go first names because I forgot to write down their second name. So hopefully you all know them by first name basis. Soloists for this last song will be Ruth, Cameron, Mackenzie, Alexis, Kaylee, and Robin. You are in for a treat with Hello No Fatsa. And we also have some faculty-led percussion here to take us out. So one more time, I do want to say... Uh, I do want to say that after visiting all these schools in this district, your students are in fantastic musical hands. And uh, I know that we as directors go around the state and see what other uh, schools are doing in other states of music programs. And sometimes we, uh, we don't see the beauty and the power of what we have right in our own hometowns. And I just have to say that there's an energy here, a community here, and a support for these young folks in expressing music that is just wonderful. And I hope you guys do support that and continue to make this last another 30 years. It would be fantastic. So our final number, Hello No Fasa.
staff at BBC for letting us come here and do this absolutely amazing event. Thank you.